Let's talk about why nourishing herbal infusions are frugal nutrition. So we can compare them to a bunch of other ways that we get nutrition and realize that they are actually very inexpensive. Now there is a range um, per infusion of the cost depending on the herb that you're using and where you get it from. But I would say on average, the infusion costs about $2 per infusion, $2 a day for the quart of infusion. And that's on the higher end for sure, somewhere between $1 and $2. And compared to, and so what are you getting for that amount really to begin with? What you're getting from that amount is you're getting a full spectrum of minerals and not just calcium but you're getting a variety of forms of calcium and a variety of forms of magnesium and all of the other minerals and we'll get into the details of what herbs have what minerals when we get into the specific herbs but in general there's a full range of it's basically a multi vitamin and mineral complex in each infusion, but it's real multivitamins and minerals. It's real direct from nature, from the plant, and in a form that humans could never create, like we create in supplements. And it's inexpensive. It's varied as well. It's not going to be the same in every infusion, and in every batch of nettle is always going to be a little different. But humans are varied as well. So I think that if we incorporate varied foods into our lives and varied nutrition, then it works well for us because that's kind of how we work. It might not be how our brain works. Our brain wants to know every step of the way, right? Like every specific amount that we're getting, but that's not true nutrition in the sense of the word of how our bodies actually get nutrition from the earth naturally. So when we compare that one or two dollars a day to say a multivitamin or mineral supplement, I mean those can be very expensive, especially the high quality ones, the food based ones that they say. So I think in that sense we're definitely, not only are we getting hydration with our infusion, but we're also getting a much better source of vitamins and minerals and most likely costing less. If you're getting a vitamin or mineral that costs less than a dollar or two a day, then the quality probably is even worse. And I really believe that most of those vitamins and minerals, our body eliminates before we even use it because it's hard for it to recognize them because it's not in their natural form. Not only that, but if you take a calcium supplement, you might be getting one form of calcium, calcium carbonate, calcium citrate, calcium malate, calcium amino acid chelate. I mean, there's all, if you go to a health food store and you look at the calcium section, there's about 20 different types of calcium that you can get. And very likely in these infusions, you're getting a nice range of those different types of calciums. Whereas in a supplement, they really can off only offer you one type of calcium or maybe two if it's an exceptional supplement. Compared to food, frugal nutrition of the infusion is, you know, a dollar or two a day of the infusion compared to buying produce, especially these days, um, is, you know, you can't even get a head of broccoli for two dollars. <laughs> and there's a lot more nutritional value in the infusion than say like one bit of produce that you can get for that same amount. I haven't done the studies, but in my general sense, I'm guessing that that's true. And I didn't really have the time to really figure all of that out, but it just seems to me like, you know, we're getting a lot more from the infusion than we're going to get from produce and it's costing us less. And it's actually easier to access the nutrition because we don't have to break it out of its fibrous state like we do when we get the produce. This is like kind of pre-broken down and readily available to us. So 
it's less work for our body as well to get the nutrition from. Not only that, but the herbs that we're using for the nourishing infusions, most of them are wild type species of herbs. So even if they're grown on a farm, stinging nettle is still the same type of stinging nettle, the same species of stinging nettle that you would find in the wild. And these wild plants tend to have a lot more variety of phytonutrients in it than our domesticated plants that we eat. A lot of our domesticated plants don't have, they've been domesticated to be waterier and sweeter and larger, but with less concentrated nutrition and not only nutrition, but also all of the other nu nutrients that wild plants have to offer because those add all kinds of strange flavors <laughs> um, to, the, to the wild plants. Whereas when we domesticated our food, we were going more for taste um, in general and size and ease in growing and being able to produce a lot of it than we were in flavor. So by working with wild species of plants, even if they are grown on farms, I believe that we're getting a lot more of a variety of chemistry wild chemistry, so to speak, that our body thrives on and um, has coexisted with from the beginning of human time. So also compared to herbal capsules and herbal tinctures, the nourishing herbal infusions is a lot more bang for your buck, so to speak. You know, you can get 16 ounces of nettle for $22 roughly and if you were to get 16 ounces of nettle in a capsule or a tincture it's going to cost a whole lot more than that right because a, a two ounce tincture of nettle is probably close to $25 and the amount of nettle that's in that tincture is probably half an ounce of dried you know it's like so half an ounce at $25 of nettle and all that it has to offer versus 16 ounces for, 20, for less than that. So that's a huge cost savings. And you're going to be getting all the nutrition from the nettle versus in the nettle tincture. You're not getting nutrition from it. The alcohol is not as good of a solvent of minerals and vitamins as water is. Also, compared to capsules, I mean, how much nettle are you really going to fit in a capsule? Not a lot. <laughs> and then how many capsules are you going to fit in a jar? And again, you're paying for all of that processing that happens. So definitely as far as, you know, as far as food goes, this is a lot more frugal. And as far as supplement and herbal medicine goes, this is also the cheapest way to go because you're buying your herbs in bulk, you're using them in whole, you're cutting out one of the middlemen, the processing plants. And if you buy them direct from a distributor, then you're also cutting out the store. Um, sorry, stores, but you um, don't have to pay that price as well. They are also, you know, if you want to compare them to smoothies, a lot of people have their daily smoothie. But if you think of all of the food that goes into a smoothie, it's pretty high end stuff. You have your yogurt, you have your frozen berries, you have your kale. Usually it's organic. If you're in smoothie mode, you're going organic with all that stuff. And so I don't know, but it would be interesting to find out how much a quart of smoothie costs compared to a $2 at most quart of infusion. Plus it takes less time to make. Um, and then compared to other drinks, coffee, you know, you get a small coffee for $2.50. Soda, I don't even know, but we can't even compare because soda is going to be hazardous to your health where infusions are only beneficial to your health. Bottled water, um, tap water, it's going to be cheaper, but at the same time, you're adding so much nutrition to the tap water by adding the herbs. Um, I think that that is worth it.
so compared to all those things, nourishing herbal infusions is the cheapest way to get nutrition compared to all of those. Now, if you wanted to even have it cost less money, you could go and harvest your herbs yourself. A lot of the herbs we're gonna be talking about in this class, stinging nettle, um, red clover, linden flowers, are all plants that grow readily in the wild that you could harvest. Comfrey leaf, you can easily grow it and har have multiple harvests in a season. Same with oat straw. It's actually the straw of the plant. It's what people feed their rabbits. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I wouldn't buy bales of oat straw and make your infusion with that because there might be dead mice and fungus in those. Definitely get food grade oat straw. But along those lines, I mean, these are really inexpensive plants that can be grown in mass amounts to really cut the cost if you are buying them. But you could also grow them inexpensively if you have the time. But then it's like time versus money and honestly, it's gonna cost you less to buy the herb in bulk than it does to take the time to harvest them and dry them yourself. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just something to consider because we are using such large amounts of plant material. Minimal supplies. You need two mason jars, you need a straining apparatus and a less than $10 kitchen scale. Super, super easy, super simple. The water is free. If you don't like your water, if you have uh, city water that's chlorinated, you can, when you boil it, you boil off the, chlor the chlorine because it's a gas and it vaporizes out of it. So minimal supplies. And then you can actually choose inexpensive herbs too. There's gonna be some herbs that are infusion herbs that are gonna be more money than others. Like chickweed infusion herb, which we'll talk about, well, I just recently bought it for $15 for a pound. So that's less than a dollar per ounce. Um, and violet leaf, you probably would maybe pay $30 a pound for. So you can pick and choose your infusion herbs. You can go with the lesser expensive ones if you want. And they're just fine too. So all of that being said, the other thing that you can do is if you are purchasing your herbs, you can purchase them from you know, bulk distributors. Um, and there are some bulk distributors that are co-ops where you be can become a member of the co-op and get a reduced price on your herbs. Um, or you can buy in bulk and get a discount on the herbs. You could get together with some friends and buy a whole large amount uh, together and then all get discounted amounts. Or you could maybe talk to your local co-op and work out a trade where you can you know, order herbs and trade hours uh, for volunteer work, depending on what type of food co-op you have in your area so that you can get creative and see different ways that you can work out getting the bulk herbs. So lots of ways for nourishing herbal infusions to be frugal nutrition and maybe the most frugal nutrition out there.